What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with our annual massive box of horror action figures video for 2023. Man, we are back and we are bigger than ever. This is the most figures we've ever had in the box and it is the most diverse bunch of characters from horror movies and different things of that nature that we've ever had in, in the horror box, man. I'm really excited to showcase this to you guys. Should be the longest version of this video ever. Lots of new characters, lots of guys to dive into, man. We're going to go until we get through every single figure in this massive box. And this box is a very large one. It is very very heavy. There's a ton of figures in here, man. Let's get started. Let's go through the figures one by one and get started. All right, man, let's start things off with an OG. We got the OG original design of Pennywise from the Tim Curry version. This figure looks immaculate. Really happy with it. I like the head sculpt on here. Coloration is really good as well. I like the sleeves. Now, it can get on my nerves a little bit. Like, feet are really, really tiny, so he's kind of hard to stand up, but he's a bulky figure. He feels good in hand. The likeness is uncanny, and he looks good, man. And we got to go ahead and get the question out of the way, and I need you to comment down down in the comment section below. Are you Team OG Pennywise or are you Team Remake Pennywise? Let me know down in the comment section below. Have a little battle right there, but you guys can let me know. OG or Remake, but both of them are really cool. I like the I like the Remake, but I think I'd go with OG. It's kind of, you know, nostalgic for me, so I would go with OG, but both of these are really badass figures. Next up, guys, we're going to go off to the right here. We have the Mezco Michael Myers figure. Now, Mezco does make some really good figures, but I'm going to be real with you. I'm not a huge fan of their stuff. This figure is not bad, but I just feel like the scale is kind of off, but Having a Michael Myers figure here in Mezco is really cool, but yeah, man, I just feel like the size and everything, the, the money you pay versus the size of the, of the figure and the articulation you get just doesn't match up for me, but it's still a cool figure, but I think I would rather have the NECA version of a Michael Myers than the Mezco, but it's still a cool figure with the jumpsuit. Next up is our Halloween remake or 2018 Halloween Michael Myers figure looking pretty good here, and I just like this better than the Mezco. It's bigger, you know, and, and things like that, but this is a pretty cool design of it. Probably my favorite version of the mask ever outside of the original. Just like this figure, man. Really dope. I think I own a few of these. You're going to see a few of these throughout this video from different things. But, yeah, you can't beat Michael Myers, man. Who's the most iconic horror character of all time? Michael Myers has got to be in the top three. Next up, guys, we have this Toonie Terrors figure of Reagan from The Exorcist. And I love this because it's got the projectile vomit that goes in the mouth, which I think is so funny to me. And we have a lot of these new cartoony figures added to the box this year, which I really enjoy. But this is pretty cool. I was happy to add this to the collection. I think the vomit on her sweater, Mama Spaghetti projectile vomit going on. I mean, this is classic. You can't beat this. Next up is another new character from the box. We have the Victor Crowley figure, man. I mean, look at this guy. I don't think he was in the box last year. He may have been in the box, but this head sculpt's completely gnarly. I mean, my God in heaven, he looks like he was run over three times. This guy's overalls in there, and the NECA cloth figures, like the 8-inch figures that have, you know, the cloth goods on there, they're, they're not the best articulation-wise, but they are really cool, and they look really good on display, but yeah, Victor Crowley looking like a, like a crazy man right here, and I do believe he's new to the box, but I could be wrong about that. Next up is another new figure to the box, and this is another cloth goods figure from NECA. This is the Creep, and this one's pretty cool. He's very stiff. He's almost like a, just a basic figure. Like, he doesn't really have a ton of articulation, but he's still a really cool piece. You know, he's got his cloth goods in there. He doesn't really have an ab crunch. His legs are really stiff, but he works out. You know, he's pretty damn scary. I mean, look at his face. He looks like a rotten, mummified, zombie-looking thing, so he's looking pretty cool. I like the tattered clothes. Pretty cool figure to add to the collection. Next up, we have the Halloween Kills version of Michael Myers, and this one's bad, A eh, because his face is all burnt up and crispy. You guys can see there how gnarly his face looks. They did a, such a good job on this one. Now he's got like all the char marks and stuff like that. He's got the taped up hand. Got blood on there. He's looking like a beast. I hated Halloween Ends, but the way he looked in Halloween Kills does look pretty badass. Very similar to his first version, but of course, you know, it's, it's the second movie. So it's going to be similar. It's right after that one, so you guys know what, what the deal is. Next up, we have Valak from The Nun and The Conjuring Universe, I do believe. And this one's really sweet. My brother used to have the painting of The Nun up in his room. Used to freak me the hell out. But we do have the nun here looking pretty good head sculpts good all the black clothing again this is one of the cloth figures so i mean it's it's not going to do the best for like posing around but it looks also very very scary anyways and it's just a crazy looking figure and again it's very stiff but uh very quality overall yeah you gotta love the nun right there next up we have an og horror icon we have frankenstein and this is the black and white version and we do have his bride in here somewhere but he's got the shackles on his arms looking pretty good i think they did a fantastic job on this head sculpt he's even got the platforms on this is a really cool figure i think nika did a good job on this one but I really dig the head sculpt. I think it's really iconic. They nailed it. And I like the black and white version over the colored version. I just think the black and white kind of captures the essence of the character from who we saw on our TV screens, you know? Next up, we have another Toonie Terrors figure. It is Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This one's pretty damn hefty, man. I mean, you could probably bust a window with this guy, but this one's pretty cool. He comes with a chainsaw accessory. He's kind of looking Uggs there, but, you know, what do you expect out of the, you know, I mean, his name's Leatherface, for Christ's sake. Next up, we have another Michael Myers, and this one has been impaled. Now, this comes from 
our uh, MDT Horror Tournament of the Dam that we did a couple years ago, or maybe it was last year. A couple years back, he battled Jason Voorhees. We have that actually on the channel. You guys should go check out that video if you haven't already. He got impaled in that video, so you definitely want to go check out that wrestling match. But yeah, he's got the pole through there, and I just left it like that. You know, we customized it, put the hole through there, and I thought it was pretty interesting. So we went ahead and just left it in there. I don't think this is what impaled him, though. It was a different thing, so you guys will have to go check out that match. But this is just the Halloween 2018 figure. Uh, we have a couple versions of that, and we uh, use this one as a customization thing. Next up, we have Ash from Evil Dead, the OG Evil Dead, which uh, doesn't compare to Evil Dead 2, in my opinion. But Ash is looking pretty good here. I think they did a really good job of capturing that young Ash in there. It looks good from Evil Dead. He came with a lot of cool weapons and stuff like that. He's not bloody or anything, but it's still a cool figure to own in the collection. I'm glad to have it. It's kind of plain Jane. You know, you could use it as just a basic guy, but yeah, I mean, it fits in this collection nicely. Next up, we have the NECA Ultimate Leatherface here from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is not the original chainsaw that he came with. The original one was yellow, but I took the Ash chainsaw and put it over here because my other handle broke off, and I'm going to put the rifle with the, with the Ash for now because it is just the first movie instead, but figure's really cool. I like the apron on there. Really unique face. You know, this pretty much looks like our Toonie Terrors figure, just blown up in a realistic mode, but uh, he's got his tie on there. His shirt looks good. Very nice figure right here. I enjoy the leather face. Next up, we have another Toonie Terrors figure. This is Pinhead from Hellraiser, and he did come with his cube, but he's kind of a basic figure. You know, you could put the cube in his hands, but yeah, he's got a decent looking head sculpt on there. Very plain Jane. Kind of looks like a cake topper, to be honest with you, but it's a cool figure nonetheless. Next up is our Halloween 2 Michael Myers. Now, this is probably my least favorite. Uh, I, I guess it's not quite a mask design because it's the same original mask. It just, you know, it's on the head of a bigger actor, so it made the face look stretched, so I didn't like it, but he does have the, you know, the gunshot wounds to the eyes or whatever the hell you want to say there. And this figure's not bad. It's very, I mean, it's pretty much a change in head sculpt from the other Michael Myers figures we've seen in this video. Not too, too much difference here, but still a cool figure to add to the collection. Next up, we have our Tiffany figure from our uh, Bride of Chucky here, and I guess we do have this one. I don't think this is the design of Chucky from, you know, Bride of Chucky, but we still have these two that roll together. I know there's another Chucky in here somewhere. I'm sure we'll find him sooner or later, but figures look really good, especially together. They fit nice together. I think they did a really good job on the likenesses of the head sculpts and stuff like that. She's got the cloth goods in there. These are really sweet, and I like how he's got his blood hanging out on his face, battle damage, so these are pretty cool figures to have. Next up, we have our first Jason Voorhees, I think, in the video, and I guess we're starting things off with part four, and he's looking pretty good here. He's got the, you know, the tan things on there. The legs get really loose on these, and you're gonna see a ton of Jason Voorhees in this video, but, you know, it's, it's still a cool figure to have nonetheless. Big Jason Voorhees guy over here. Speaking of which, we have the Mezco version over here, which looks pretty good, you know. Uh, it's got a really cool head sculpt. So zooming in right here, you guys can see Mezco does a really good job on these. Again, man, it's just the scaling that really pisses me off about Mezco, to be honest with you. But an enjoyable figure to have. Had to add it to the collection. You know, they say they're releasing a Jason Voorhees. I'm probably gonna grab it, but very iconic. Looks pretty good, but yeah, I just, I, I don't know, man. Just looks so damn sad. He's so tiny. Next up, we have a random jack-o'-lantern in here. Looking pretty good. Next up, we do have the Crooked Man, which is a very unique design. I remember the first time I saw him on screen, I was like, holy hell, he looks awesome. So when NECA announced that they were making him, I thought that was so damn cool, man. So having having the Crooked Man is awesome. I think he's a really unique character and a very crazy looking character. His suit is crazy. His arms, the way his hat looks. I mean, he is one looking specimen, right? I mean, he looks crazy. He's got the long legs. Kind of reminds me of Mr. Meeseeks a little bit or Mr. Meeseeks deranged uncle. But yeah, you got Crooked Man. Next up, we have a gigantic Jason Voorhees mask. Now, this will go for a figure that we'll see later in the video that's buried amongst the figures, but still a very massive Jason Voorhees mask. Next up, we have the MDT Tournament of the Damn Trophy. I took an Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal trophy from the WWE action figures, and then I stuck a machete on top, and then I put it through that head that came with the Michael Myers figure, 2018 remake. I think this is supposed to be a cop's head or something like that, and then, you know, we just put some blood on it, glued it on there, and this became the trophy for the uh, horror action figure wrestling tournament that we did last year, and I think I'm going to be, br or two years ago, and then we brought it back last year, didn't get to finish it, so we may be bringing it back at the end of the month. We'll have to see about that, but uh, really badass trophy nonetheless. And doing those customization and creative things is really fun and makes everything crazy. So, always enjoy getting to do some projects like that. Next up, we do have Pinhead from Hellraiser, a very unique figure. I've said this before, but, you know, his VHSs and his DVDs always stood out on the shelf at Blockbuster because they'd be really reflective. You'd have his face on there. It was very menacing. You know, his voice has always been crazy. So, this figure is really awesome. It's double jointed. Legs get a bit loose, but NECA, they're not the best for articulation and movement. You know what I'm saying? But they look very, very sweet. So Pinhead is a great looking action figure. Next up, we do have Sam from Trick or Treat looking pretty cool right here. This is a new addition to the box. Haven't seen him just yet, but he does have double jointed arms. He has his orange suit in here. He's got his, you know, his sack, his, I don't even know what the hell you would call that. Like his sack.
shack head, a uh, potato shack head. That's what they need to do. They need to make NECA Ultimate Stranger figures with Potato Shack Man and the whole get up, dude. That would be, that's what they really need to do. I'm, I'm all for those, but I thought the Strangers was awesome. But this figure is great nonetheless. I was really happy to add him to the collection. Been wanting this figure in there for a really long time, so adding him is great. He comes with a lot of great accessories. Next up is another figure that is new. We have the Ultimate Miner from My Bloody Valentine. We're not going to get into spoilers here, but this figure is very badass. This mask is actually removable. You have his pickaxe in there. He's pretty standard looking, but it's still a menacing looking figure. I think he looks so good with his mask on. I mean, dude, he just looks so menacing. The pickaxe, everything like that, dude looks great, and I really love that the, you know, the mask can come off and there's some stuff underneath, so it's really badass, man. Next up, we have another new addition to the box. I don't think Predator has made his appearance in this video over the years, but we do have a new Predator here. I do not know which film this is from, but he does have his, like, gold helmet mask in there. He's got the green armor going all the way down. Very cool figure. I would love to have a massive Predator collection because they make so many badass figures. And I think his design is so unique and awesome. So I'd love to have more Predators. But a fan of mine actually sent this to me. And I greatly appreciate it. I love this figure. I think he's great. And I had to add him to the collection. He's got his freaking hair back here. Dude, just such a cool design. Predator is up there with some of the best, like, character designs ever. Next up, we have another Part 4 Jason right here. But he does have his mask off. You guys can see how gnarly he looks. So he looks a bit grungy here, but he's got his khaki pants on there. Can't get blood on the khakis, Jason. Next up is Freddy Krueger. Now, Freddy is missing his hat. I think his hat fell off somewhere in the box, so we'll have to find that, but he is screaming right here. He's got his glove out there. You know, he's got his sweater on, ready for mommy spaghetti. Looking pretty good there. He got his black pants on there. Very iconic. I love that yelling head sculpt as well. We need more Freddy Krueger figures. I say this every year. Still have yet to find some and get some in the collection here, but we do have a few, and he does have his brain exposed up there. He's lo looking awesome, man. I need to find his hat, though. Next up is another new figure man we have candy man added to the collection we do have the b head sculpt right there oh the head sculpt's trying to pop off right here don't want that to happen but the candy man looks so damn cool man he's got his fur jacket on there man looking here he got black gloves he's got his hook hand he also comes with this torso piece that has like all the bees on it and it looks so damn cool but this is a really great piece i'm really happy to add candy man you know that's a character we were missing in the box for a long time so finally getting him in here looks immaculate and i'm sure maybe NECA will release one sooner or later of an ultimate candy man Hopefully that will be the case. I mean, there's so many different characters they need to make an updated ultimate form, but this is a really badass piece as well. Next up is going to be Alien. Now, I do not know which alien this is, but this is a beast of a figure, man. And this thing is so cool. You guys can see here his mouth opens, and then he has another alien mouth monster thing that comes out of his mouth. So that is just so awesome that NECA was able to put that in there. He's got the horn on there. The head sculpt looks crazy. I mean, dude, these figures are so cool, and they're so massive. I mean, this guy is just a beast of a of a unit of a figure. Look at this guy. You know, he gets a little bit loose over time, but nonetheless, you put a, you put him up on the shelf, he's got like this light blue skeleton going on with the horn. Alien's crazy, so uh, looking forward to more alien figures, but this guy's really, really big as well. He's probably 10, 11 inches tall, maybe even 12 inches tall, so I'm really happy to have an alien figure in here. You gotta have at least one alien, one predator in there. Next up, we do have the Toonie Terrors Freddy Krueger figure. Recently added this to the collection. I think it's a pretty cool figure. He kind of looks like a Scooby-Doo villain. I mean, I guess all the Toonie Terror figures look like they jumped out of Scooby-Doo if they were featured in that show, but it's still a cool figure nonetheless. Next up is my favorite iteration of Jason. Not necessarily my favorite movie, but the Part 7 Jason Voorhees is so good. We have three of these figures in this video, but he looks so good. I just love the design of him. It's nostalgic for me, and the figure feels so good. NECA just knocked it out of the park with all this stuff, man. You have his spine exposed, the chain, his face looks crazy underneath here. I mean, dude, they absolutely knocked this one out of the park. Easily my favorite Jason figure they've made so far. We begged them for it for years, and they finally brought it to fruition, and they couldn't have done a better job, I think. It just feels so good. They updated the formula. They gave him some girth. It's just, it's a fantastic piece. Next up, we do have Ghostface from Scream. Now, I mean, there's so many different characters this truly could be, right? But this is really cool. I like the way they designed this figure, how they have, you know, the, the hoodie over everything. It's all baggy. It's got the jaggedness. So iconic and so nostalgic for a lot of reasons, but Ghostface is looking good. I mean, this man already has his own emoji pretty much. It just looks so good, man. It, it is a great looking figure. Pretty plain Jane, but this is so iconic. Just seeing this face with the black hoodie. Very well made figure as well. Even though he doesn't stand the best, I still like this figure a lot. Next up, we do have another Part 7 Jason, and this Part 7 Jason is actually holding both iterations of the Horror Championship. Now, we are going to do a Horror Action Figure Battle Royal this month, and uh, some of these championships are probably going to be on the line. We may go with the old classic one, since this one's usually the wrestling one, but it is like this Horror Championship right here. 
Earth. You can see it says Horror. It's got like the Chevron on there. Rest in peace to Bray Wyatt and the Fiend because that is what this championship was originally and we customized it. But nonetheless, this uh, Jason is the crowning champion. He's the reigning champion. He's never defeated. So that's why he has both championships here in the massive box of Horror Figures video. Next up, we have another random Jack-O-Lantern. I think this one's from Trick or Treat. Next up is the Toonie Terrors Pennywise figure. You guys can see he has like his hand stretched out and then he has his hand holding his balloon. But this one's really nice. I like the colors on this one. They did a really good job bringing that character into a cartoon. And uh, this is probably, if not my favorite cartoon style figure. It's still really colorful and looks really good on the show. I mean, he's a clown. What do you expect? But I like this figure. We have another Jack-O-Lantern. It's the Skull Jack-O-Lantern. Next up, we do have Freddy in his nurse's outfit. This is one of those cloth NECA figures. It looks crazy. Not the best figure ever, but still cool. It comes with a nurse's hat and mask. Has the Freddy glove on there. Not my favorite figure, to be honest with you. It may be my least favorite figure in this box just because of how, like, trash it stands up and stuff, but it is in the box, so there you go. Next up, we have the Friday the 13th remake or the 2009 version of the character, and I thought it was a unique take. He's got his mask on there. Not a bad iteration of Jason Voorhees, just a very unique version for sure, and that movie wasn't bad at all. Kind of a different iteration of the character, and I'm hoping to see a new Jason coming soon, so got his overthrown jacket. I mean, this guy looks crazy, man. He looks like a freaking, I don't, I don't even know what you'd say. Man was living in the backwoods. Next up is another Jason Voorhees. We have the Freddy vs. Jason version, and this man looks crazy. I mean, look at this head sculpt right here, man. Look at that right there. A face only a mother could love. Honestly, never really cared for this design of the character. I just thought he looked a bit dopey in the movie. Like, I don't know, man. I just was not a fan of it, but yeah, they made it figure form. In the, in the movie, I still really enjoy it, and it's very nostalgic for me, so in that sense, I like it, but the figure, eh, and look at his leg, man. His legs are all loose. Next up, we do have the Dr. Loomis figure from the Michael and Dr. Loomis 2-pack from Halloween 2. Looking pretty good. He's got his trench coat in there. I mean, what would Michael be without Dr. Loomis? So, Dr. Loomis looks, looks really, really good. So excited to add him to the collection as well. He is a newer figure here in the box, and I'm happy to have him. Next up, I do believe this is Dream Sequence, Jason. You guys can see he's all wet from the rain and whatnot. He's got his mask on there, all muddy and stuff like that. Still wearing the khakis. Still ruining the khakis, Jason. You, uh, what are you doing? And then we have another Dream Sequence, Jason, and he's got his worms coming out of the mask, which I think is really unique. I thought that was a cool touch by NECA. Adding that worm head sculpt in there is really, really cool. I think it translated really well to figure form as well. Next up, we have the NECA video game Freddy Krueger. Still missing his hat, man. Those hats don't stay on there. They probably need to make some head sculpts with the hat just attached just so you don't ever lose it. But uh, it is nice to have a loose hat and stuff like that. But the colors are cool. This is more of a statue more than an action figure. Or like, But it does have a few points of articulation. Next up is the little sister figure from Big Daddy or from Bioshock here. It comes with this gigantic Big Daddy that we'll get to later. But I actually like this figure a lot. It poses around really well and it's fun to pick up and just pose around for no reason. This is a really cool figure and probably one of my favorite figures in the box just from an action figure standpoint. Next up we have a Part 3 Jason here looking good. He's got his blue colored jeans or you know pants on there. Very similar to Part 4 of course but he is a little bit different there. But yeah we had, again man these NECA figures back in the day especially the Jason Voorhees figures their legs get so damn loose. Next up we do have a couple Nightmare Dogs from Freddy Krueger or Nightmare on Elm Street which look pretty damn creepy. I mean they, they look awful. They look like they're in pain and agony every second which I guess gets the job done. If you want to strike fear into somebody man just show them these and you'll definitely uh, it'll definitely get the job done for you. Next up we have another part three Jason here very similar to the other version so it's just another version of that. It's slightly different. It doesn't have the axe wound and whatnot but it's still in there. Next up is a Big Daddy figure. Now this is pretty cool. It's a shrunk down version of the larger version we're going to get to in a minute but this figure is pretty cool. You know not the best figure of all time. It's kind of smaller in scale but it's still uh, I mean he's a really cool design right. He's got his big helmet on his big drill. I mean he is pretty toyetic anyways but this is the smaller version compared to our gigantic version we'll get to later. Next up we do have the Pennywise It remake from 2017. Toonie Terrors figure pretty cool. I still think I like the OG better but he still I, I still like this design and I appreciated the character. Next up is another Halloween 2 Michael Myers. He doesn't have the you know the, the gunshot wounds though but look at that fat head man. I mean he's just looking crazy to me. I just it always just put me off of the movie. Took me out of it completely having that change in the mask because in the OG it's so iconic and then this one I guess it's iconic for the same reasons because you know it's that version but still man I just I don't know it took me out of it. Next up is the Misfits Ultimate Fiend figure. Very cool trench coat and cloak on this guy. Gloves look cool as well. This is a newer character that we've seen. We haven't seen him or we saw the Christmas version last year. Now we actually have the real version and then here is the Christmas version uh, the Ultimate Fiend or the, the Fiend cloth figure. Very similar of course but they are a little bit different here. This one has more articulation. This one's more it's one of the cloth figures so you guys know it's very basic underneath the clothes but it is cool to have both of these versions. Uh, I do like the Ultimate better though and I think in the all black and it has that nice leathery look to it so that one is uh, pretty cool but I like having both of these figures from the Misfits 
this. Next up is part two, Jason, which is cool. He's got his overalls on there. He's got his plaid blue shirt. He's got his bag over his head. Very unique look. You know, the first incarnation of Jason, if you're not counting, you know him coming out of the lake. So very cool. I like it. Put him with the pickaxe. All, all is right in the world. Next up, another Toonie Terrace figure is the Michael Myers. And you guys can see that it does have the, you know, the bloody teardrops there or the bloody like gunshot wounds. And then you have the knife in there. Again, looking like a Scooby-Doo character, especially with the legs in there. He's looking pretty good though. I like this figure. Next up is the Bride of Frankenstein, which looks really cool. Her hair's tall. She's got her white cloak on here, all wrapped up, very mummified looking. Very cool figure and smooth. And this cloth goods this figure comes with is crazy nice. It feels so good in hand. It's like super soft. I could uh, make a blanket out of this shirt that she's wearing and, and, and use it in bed. I mean, it's very, very high quality. And it's even like sewed up in the back. Very cool, man. I like this figure. I'm glad we added this. Next up, we have another Freddy. He is missing his glove and his hat. We actually used the glove on a WWE custom figure. I think it was a Finn Balor figure. And then uh, we never really fixed him up again. Again, man, gotta add more Freddies. It's kind of disappointing we don't have more Freddies, but still cool nonetheless to have this one in the collection. And it's, you know, it's kind of a dated figure. Another part three, Jason, this time maskless. And uh, that's the only difference. We do have a maskless there and his head's all bleeding out there. But again, man, just this guy doesn't know how to wear clothes. He just ruins them every chance he gets. Another Toonie Terrace figure is the Jason and Voorhees here, and again, very Scooby-Doo-esque. I mean, I'm going to say it every time. It just gives me Scooby-Doo vibes, and I guess that's what they were going for, but they're really cool figures. He's got his machete in there, and he almost kind of gives me, like, Jack Skellington head sculpt vibes with that mask on. I don't know. Do you guys get that? Next up is another Friday the 13th, 2009 version or remake with the bag or wrapped up head version. This is uh, before he put on the hockey mask in the movie. Still cool nonetheless, you know, just different iterations for the shelf. You know, when you get multiple head sculpts, it's cool to buy multiple figures so you can display every single look of the figure. Another day, another part for Jason, just looking like he's enjoying the best of life. Here's another iteration of the part seven with the mask off. Such a cool figure, man. I mean, it just, I, I waited for this figure for so long, so when they finally released it, I'm like, oh, I'm buying 76 of them, so that's why we have so many of them, and it, it's just such a damn cool figure. I love this figure. Next up, not really a horror icon, but a zombified version of Stone Cold Steve Austin. I mean, he's got a smoking skull head sculpt, his guts ripped open. Very cool figure by Mattel. These were awesome, and there is actually a lot more characters than this, but I had the Stone Cold Steve Austin version laying around, so I figured I'd throw him in the box just to showcase it. Very cool design by Mattel. Next up, we have the video game version of Jason Voorhees here, but uh, this is actually the re-release of that figure. There was an original version, I think it was a Comic-Con exclusive that had like clear mask and clear weapon accessories, and then you had the re-release version with like the matte look, so that's what this is. It is the matte look, but it's pretty cool. It stands out on a shelf, but you know, they gotta get those molds in. They gotta do repaints of figures so they can sell more units and, you know, lower costs and stuff. Next up, another Port 7 Jason, but this one is a statue, but it looks pretty good. I mean, they did a really good job replicating and bringing this statue into an action figure in a fully articulated form, and I like this. We had this long before the figure, but I am just so glad to have a fully articulated figure, but this statue is really cool. Next up, we do have another Toonie Tears. It is Beetlejuice, and we gotta be careful not to say it three times, but the suit design on this guy looks amazing. Very cool figure nonetheless. I'd like to see an ultimate version of this guy from NECA, but yeah, the Beetlejuice is really cool, and we're gonna move on now before we say it three times. Next up, we do have another Jack-O-Lantern, like a skull Jack-O-Lantern, and then we do have another Chucky here, and I do believe this Chucky Chucky is supposed to go with the Bride of Chucky, so uh, he was lower down in the box, but we finally made it to him. Very cool figure, very small, but very good, packed with detail, man. Packed with de detail, even though he is really small. Next up, we have a little mini ghost face from Scream, little Super 7, I think, is who made these figures. Like, they're really low, like, you know, they're just mini figures, but they're a cool little basic, you know, little office desk topper. Next up, guys, I don't even know how this got in here, but we have this, like, beat-up version or zombified, I don't know what's going on with this Harley Quinn figure, but you guys can see she's all crazy crazy and stuff like that, and her hand fell off, so I don't know where, it, hopefully it's in this box, I don't know where the hell it went, but yeah, we have a Harley Quinn figure in here, I don't even know, that, I didn't even know this is in here, but it is in here, and she's kind of like zombified slash beat up, so I don't know, it kinda, she kind of looks like a clown, like a minion of Pennywise or something. Next up is another Freddy vs. Jason Jason figure, but he does have his mask on, keep that damn mask on, son, you look like an effing fool, but again, the legs are very loose, but it's okay, it, it's an okay figure, it's just really kind of stiff, and then, you know, it's it wasn't my favorite design of Jason, but again, the movie's really fun, need a damn sequel of that, by the way. Next up, we have another 2017 Pennywise that's in like his monster form or almost his monster form. He's missing both hands and a lower leg because of his experience in the MDT Tournament of the Damned from last year. So definitely go check out that match. A lot of fun going on. I think he took on Freddy Krueger or something like that. But yeah, go check out that matchup. But this is a fun figure as well. Next up is a very unique one. We have Annabelle who did take on Chucky in a really crazy bloodbath matchup last year. One of the crazier videos on the channel. I don't know, kind of an underrated gym. You guys can let me know. But we do have Annabelle here in her box. She's in her chair. This figure, it's not very uh, sturdy to be honest, but it's an okay figure. I really like the glass case she comes in, and you guys can see
see she's kind of like wobbling around in there. But yeah, you get this cool little diorama piece and everything like that. I really enjoy this. She also has like the sticker on there that's like warning, do not open or whatever. So that's cool. Next up, we have part six, Jason, which is a very clean look. Arguably the better of all the Friday the 13th films. But man looks like a damn survivalist out in the nature. He's got his gardening gloves on. He's got his, got his tool belt. I mean, he's, he's going crazy over here, man. He's ready to war, but this is a pretty good figure. I like this one a lot. Next up is the Toonie Terrors Ash figure from Evil Dead 2. This one looks sweet, and he's got his gun accessory to tuck in the back here. This one's awesome. I love the bloody effect, and I'm pretty sure this is like a alternate version here, because he's like kind of beat up. It's like battle damage version, but I really like this Toonie Terrors figure. Next up, we have part 5 Jason Voorhees, and you can kind of not count this as Jason Voorhees, because it wasn't Jason Voorhees. You know, you take off the mask, and it is not him, so yeah, that's kind of bummy. I don't know, kind of a different take on the film. I wasn't a fan of it, you know. I think it's just a total swerve, kind of insulting to the audience, but it, he's looking like Michael Myers from the neck down, but uh, yeah, just not my favorite, you know. Not a bad movie overall, but just throw Jason Voorhees out of the whole thing, and you have a pretty decent football game. Next up, we have the Figma Pyramid Head, and as cool as this figure looks, it is awful. Just super loosey-goosey, just terribleness. Uh, I mean, very terrifying figure, you know. You got Pyramid Head. He's a cool guy, really cool weapon. I just do not like this figure, man. Not a fan of the, the figure at all. Next up, we have the OG Comic-Con exclusive recolor of Jason. Now, this is the one I was talking about with the transparent hands and mask and everything like that. It's a cool figure, but again, I think the lore of it is just that it's Comic-Con exclusive. We have another trick-or-treat jack-o'-lantern that I accidentally broke the light out of on accident. We have the Atari version of Leatherface. I think that's what it is. It's like the three-bit or what? I, I can't remember what it's called. He's got the green from the neck down. Again, just kind of a repaint, trying to get the reuse out of the molds here. Not the most creative thing ever, but I guess it's passable. You know, people played it. They enjoyed it. I don't know, but realistic face and then everything else is just green. Next up is a headless Pennywise and he's got like his monster hand in there and I don't know why his head fell off but I could not find it. So, you know, he's out there somewhere but his left hand's gone, his neck ring thing on his suit is gone, his head's gone. So, he's kind of messed up but at least we have two of those so we don't have to worry about it as much. Next up we have these really cool like gigantic monster figures. These look really good on display for Halloween or just in your house here. Uh, they have the removable mask as you guys can see. These are really awesome and they have cloth goods. His lower shin fell off somehow. I think it just snapped, but these masks and stuff like that are really, really unique. I actually like these figures a lot, and I think my brother actually has these like on display in his house most of the time, so I really, really like these. And then you have the other one here in the blue shirt. Now, this one's not broken or anything, but again, removable mask on this guy. And dude, these are just so unique, I think, and they look beat up as hell. They're like all grimy. They're just very unique figures, man. These are, these are really cool. So you have the blue like flannel jacket. I know it's like, it's not checkered or anything, but the, these are awesome. I, I really like these. Some of the most underrated figures or display pieces you'll find in this entire box. Next up, we have this Six Faces of Madness, like Elizabeth Bathory. And it comes with like a statue with a bunch of heads on it. It's just a woman bathing in, in blood right here, which is pretty cool. You know, they used to do all that. McFarlane used to do a, a lot of really cool and unique pieces. And I'm hoping that NECA will like redo some of them. Like I know we need some like... We need some House of a Thousand Corpses figures, need some Devil's Reject figures, just lots of stuff they can do that needs to be re-released, like, from things like back in the early 2000s and mid-2000s, so that's a unique piece for sure. Next up, we have this cool mini Jason figure that has a really unique head sculpt. This is, again, a very unique design here in the skull. And it is a figure. It's got, like, basic articulation, but it's kind of a toony terror, but it's kind of big and very high, like, very high quality, very well made. He's got his axe accessory in there. Again, removable mask. Just a great little display figure piece. I, I love it on the with the mask on, too. I think this is a cool, cool piece. Again, very hefty. Just a quality. Whoever the hell made this is very quality. Now, next up, not really a horror figure, but still badass. We have this gigantic Venom figure and this is an old Toy Biz Venom that's got like the bendy wire tongue in it. It's got these monstrous face. He's like got a great ab crunch. He's very highly articulated. You want to talk about one of the coolest Venoms ever? It's like 12, 13 inches tall. Look at him, man. He just looks grossly. He's got all these veins popping out. He's got finger articulation. I mean, this guy is the definition of a beast. Look at this guy. Look at the head sculpt. I mean, dude, this was just in here, so I decided to throw it in the video. All right, man, these last four figures are gigantic. They're very, very big. First up, we have this Big Daddy figure. Now, I don't even know who made this, but he's got operational lights in his eyes, as you guys can see, like the different modes. He also is fully articulated. I think this leg snapped in half, and this is a $300 figure, so uh, really bummy, but he's got a gigantic drill, you guys can see. It's like the size of a Coke can, almost. It's very massive, very high quality. It's got cloth goods on it. It's very sturdy. It is a mammoth of a figure. Very high quality. It's almost like a Hot Toys Big Daddy is pretty much what this is like. 
like. So I really like this figure. We use this in our setup sometimes. It drills people through the stomach. So, And then our last three figures are these gigantic Jason figures. And this one is a gigantic Freddy vs. Jason. Jason. And I think, I want to say NECA made these, but I'm not entirely sure. I mean, this thing is huge. He's got some basic articulation. Mass does come off. And it looks like the NECA figure, like the ultimate figure. So that's pretty cool. But he's a giant piece. All these sit on top of the shelf because they're really good eye catchers, you know, for a collection as I'm kicking over the damn tripod. But you have the massive Jason from Freddy vs. Jason over here. We have another part seven down here. Again, just a hefty dude. And this is pretty much a big version of that statue we saw earlier, right? Removable mass. Uh, he comes with a massive axe. And then you have uh, the loose chain and everything. So this, this part seven piece is just ginormous. So all these look really good on top of a shelf. And last but not least, we have like this giant NECA Ultimate Jason Part 4. And you guys can see here, this is pretty much the Part 4 Jason figure just remade to be like 16 inches tall. This guy is absolutely massive. Like it takes two, this is like a small child almost. You guys can see there in the head sculpt, look how detailed this thing is. This is such a cool thing. I mean, this may be the best thing in the box. I don't know. You guys can let me know, but I'd really like to get more big pieces like this from NECA. You guys can see, it's literally a big version of the figure that we previously saw. So here it is, look at this right here. This is a standard like six and a half, seven inch figure up next to the like massive one. So you guys can kind of see the difference there between the massive version and the smaller version, but that is our entire horror action figure box for 2023, man. So you got a massive pile of horror figures over here, and then we have another massive pile of horror figures over here. But that is pretty much going to wrap up the massive horror action figure box of 2023, man. Hope you guys did enjoy again. Leave me all of your thoughts on this stuff down in the comment section below. I hope everybody has a happy Halloween. Hopefully we will add to this year after year, man. The box will keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and maybe one day we'll just have a massive room tour to do of all of our horror action figures. Before we get out of here, a huge shout-out to our patron supporters of the MDT YouTube channel. I always appreciate those guys. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. If you guys are interested in that, click the link in the description below. But that is going to wrap the video up, man. Hope you have a happy Halloween. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'm getting out of here. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video if you will. Have a blessed Halloween, and I'll catch you later.